What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be correcting a design flaw as far as I'm concerned. I don't think that these should have been this color. I think these grill rings should have been blacked out. I think it would look a lot better. Now I put some tape here um, just because I'm going to be using either a pry tool, plastic pry tool, or a credit card and I'm going to demonstrate that in a second and I'll show you what we're doing with that. So this is what we're going to be replacing that stuff with. These are gloss black replacements for those rings. Now I know some people just take them out and either vinyl wrap it or plastic dip it or spray it or whatever but you know I found these online. I actually had an Amazon gift card from a family member and I was like, okay, well, I didn't need anything else. This is something that was going to make my life a little bit easier. So we're going to just see how this looks. Put this on. It should clean up the front end. So let's see if we can get the old ones off and put these ones on. Okay, so these are a little more difficult to remove than I thought, but not that bad. You just have to be patient. Some kind of credit card is going to work the best. So what I did was I took the card and I stuck it in here obviously there's tape protecting things so I stuck it in there and then once it got into this area it gave me a chance to pry this up a little bit once this is up you can work on this and this once you get those done then you can lift and pull and then it comes out now with these I think the way this works is these are numbered if I'm not mistaken this one right here has a number seven so I think that's this one that I just took off. So if that's the case, what would make sense is it is dun 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 seven. That's how you count to seven without counting to seven. Really awesome, right? This is what it ends up looking like. I just got tape in here so that I don't scratch up the trim and I ended up putting tape on the other side actually. So I would recommend on both sides and maybe even on the tops you know better safe than sorry you so what I'll end up doing right now is just taking a cloth cleaning in here even though it's gonna get dirty again and then I'm gonna try to install it actually what I'm gonna do is take the rest of them off before I install anything because I just decided that's what I'm gonna do another technique I found is if you put the card in and it's not working while you have the card in there you could take your pry tool here or here because now you're prying on this you're not scuffing anything up that's also a sacrificial thing so it, it works out good it's kind of funny you can just get an idea right now already of how much better it's going to look blacked out than it does with these silly ugly rings i i don't get it but i'm going to show you something i guess what happens when you're doing things is you learn by doing so i was starting on the sides and i think that's the wrong way to do it so i'm going to show you i have my card here I just put this underneath and what that does is that just propped out here and half of this already so now I can remove everything and I got my hands on stuff so while I'm pulling out I'm pushing in just a little bit here going to the other side same thing right pushing in so we're not breaking anything came off like a dream. So this is what we are left with. The exact matches for each one. Like I said, what I ended up sticking with, what technique was, I I'm, instead of putting you know tape on all four, I had tape, tape, tape. I started on the bottom, now we here. And I lifted it up a little bit and then I started maneuvering it. Definitely want to keep tape on either side. You always want to make sure you're uh, solid just in case something happens and you're going to scratch up something here you don't want to do that that's not going to be a good look but this is going to look infinitely better infinitely better all blacked out maybe eventually do the headlights blacked out who knows the world is your oyster my friends the world is your oyster all right guys that's a wrap we're gonna just walk up to this bad boy show you what's going on show you what things look like tell you a little mistake i made because i'm a moron and then we're gonna end the video but let's see what's going on here What do you think? What do you think, everybody? I think this looks 
fan freaking tastic. I'm very pleased with how easy these came off. I'm very pleased with how good it looks. I'm thinking I might have to black out the headlights now. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, I don't know. Oh, what did I mess up on? Well, this is what I messed up on. Down here, these were also the same color as these. So obviously if I was gonna black this out, I would have to black this out, which is fine. So I took a little Avery black vinyl and I was doing it, I was filming it, or so I thought. I never pushed record on the damn camera. I thought I did, I never did, and I didn't realize <sighs> like an imbecile. So basically this is what we're left with. You gotta just see the after effect, which is fine. Not a big deal, but if you're in the market for something like this, you can go on Amazon or you can take yours off, get them vinyl wrapped, you can get them painted, you can do whatever you want, really. This is just me showing you what I did as far as where you can get them. I'm not even gonna go into any recommendations because they are all over the place in different places. So it's up to you where you feel comfortable, go for it, send it, make it happen. I think this is totally worth it. I think it cleans up the front. Next is gonna be the rear. Stay tuned for that. But as I always say, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for passing by. Please consider subscribing. If you are an OCD OG, I love you guys. I truly appreciate all the support. I wouldn't bother doing this without the support. There's not enough money involved for me to have to go through this, but I am excited about making content, meeting people, and filming just things in general, filming the, the progression of this Jeep and this build. So it's gonna be exciting. I truly appreciate you stopping by. I appreciate the support. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you on the next one.